Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Hose doing another late night recording uh, on, on an Arakami deck. Uh, this time for premium. It's I run a it's hard to run, ah, premium Narukami deck. There we go. That was really hard to say. Anyways, uh, let's get the start with Hard Rod Draco Kid. Okay, what the fuck do you do? Uh, skill Forerunners. Uh, second skill is Act. On Rear Guard Circle, rest this unit. Your opponent chooses a card from their drop zone and binds it face up. If your opponent could not bind, counter charge one. And choose one of your units with the Thunder Strike ability and it gets plus 3k. Second skill is Counter Blast 1, shove it into the soul. Sorry, I have to. Counter Blast 1, shove it into the soul. Choose one of your units and it gets plus 3k until the end of the turn. Then your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards, retires it, and binds it. So that's fun. Next, I run for my. Grade threes, Forge Ah, the Tonic Stinger Dragon. If you saw uh, my standard profile is most likely going up first, so all those standard cards I'm not gonna bother to explain. So just like the text is there, read it. What you're gonna wanna do is break red stinger upon stinger upon stinger upon stinger. That's the deck. Next, uh two the Tonic Drill Dragon. It's just there for the Excel markers, and I don't think I'm really going to be using the skill all that much. By the way, I haven't tested this deck at all, so it might not even fucking work. Next, uh, what my win con is, I guess, uh, for what I'm most excited about, actually. For uh, Eradicator, Dragonic Descendant, Sigma. Sigma these nuts. <laughs> Donnie, uh, first skill does not matter. Second skill is once per turn, GB1, counter blast 1, and choose a card from your hand and discard it. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. If the attack did not hit, you may pay the cost. If you do, stand this unit. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to want to put these on Excel circles. So that's why I say just break right the t uh, uh, stinger upon stinger upon stinger upon stinger. That way you have a bunch of open Excel circles. Then you have this fucker swinging for a shit ton once you stride into the Buster Voltage, or the other one, the GB8, the Cabate. Uh, next, I run uh, four Dragonic Death Scythe. Uh, when, uh, you already know what it does. Not gonna, again, not bothering to explain cards I've already explained in my last deck profile. If you want to know it, you can read it. Just pause it when I showed it. Uh, next, I run four circular blade of strong lightning Grizel. Her skill is auto vanguard circle when this unit is attacked or when it is chosen by the effects of one of your opponent's cards. Choose a card from your opponent's drop zone. No, your opponent chooses a card from their drop zone and binds it. Sorry, uh, forgot G didn't let you choose. Second skill is. Uh, Thunderstrike 5, when your opponent's... Uh, it's Thunderstrike 5, during your turn, this unit gets plus 9k, and then, like, auto once per turn... No, act once per turn, counterblast 1. If you have a Vanquisher Vanguard, it, you can attack a rear guard and a Vanguard at the same... At, during the same battle. Next, my favorite card of all, in all of Narukami's history. Uh, Demonic Dragon... Bez ah... Demonic Dragon Berserker Chatura has a con has a continuous effect, a restriction. This cannot attack the rear. Ah, this cannot attack a rear guard. Holy shit! Speaking is hard. Second skill is during your turn, this unit gets plus three k and auto. Uh, when this attack hits a vanguard, counterblast one. Uh, draw a card and then choose. Do I choose or my opponent? Then I choose a card from my opponent's drop zone and bind it. Honestly, a uh, really good early game rear guard. You got your like bait your opponent into guarding. Speaking of baiting my opponent into guarding, I run four demolition dragon. Skill is if there are no rear guards in your opponent's. Oh, again, I said 
wouldn't explain it, but there I go. I can't keep my word. Uh, then let's attack his a vanguard, draw a card, ideal grade one ride. Uh, do I run any other G card? Any other V series cards? Nope. For stride fodder, it's the only reason it's used because it's stride fodder. Two dragon dancer fatine for the draws and to replenish my soul. Oh, dragon dancer fatine. Thunderstrike 2 when placed, uh, draw, soul last 1, draw a card. And to replenish the soul and my hand for Smash Boxer Dragon. It only, uh, during the battle, this unit boosted a unit with the Thunderstrike ability. That unit and this unit cannot be chosen by the opponent's effects of your cards. By the effects of your opponent's cards. Thunderstrike 3, put this unit into your soul. At the end of the battle, that this unit boosted, if you have a Vanguard with Vanquisher in its card name, you may pay the cost if you do draw a card and counter charge 1. Was that Soul Charge? I think it's so, uh, counter charge. I have again have not played premium in a while. Uh, for triggers for Yuki, it's uh, the promo heal we got when this unit is when this card is discarded from hand for the cost of a G Guardian, bind this card face up and choose another heal from your drop zone and bind it face up. Counter charge one or soul charge one. Cool. For a uh, white vanguard gold draw. A PG. And final and uh finally for my triggers I run Eight criticals, because crits win games, and I don't want to be playing premium longer than I have to. Anyways, we're at the G zone, G deck. I run four. The Buster skill is uh, stride. Then act once per turn, soul blessed one, choose a face down card with the same name as this unit and turn it face up. Your opponent chooses one card from each from his or her rear guards and drop zone and binds them. If the number of your rear guards is greater than your opponent, choose up to three of your units and they get plus 3k each. Second skill is GB8, Thunderstrike 7, no, GB3, Thunderstrike 7. All of your front row gets plus 5k, and this unit gets plus 1 crit and plus 1 drive. Again, pretty cool. Next I run 4 voltage, same stride skill. 2 of each. Uh, once per turn, choose a face down card with the same name as this unit. Turn it face up. Until the end of the turn, this card gains red text. It might be kind of hard to see. There we go. When this unit's attack hits a vanguard, your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards, retires it. Then you choose two cards from your opponent's drop zone and bind them face up. In continuous, GB3, during your turn, all of your units in the front row get plus 3k for each of your opponent's bind zone. For each card in your opponent's bind zone. That's funny. I run. Hold on. Is that all my... Yeah. Alright, I run one uh, VMAX skill. Thunderstrike 5, Counterblast 2. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked uh, Vanguard. If your opponent has no rear guards, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's Vanguards and deal one damage. You can actually kill with this, which is really fucking cool. Second skill is when this unit attacks a Vanguard, choose one of your opponent's rear guards for each face up Vanquisher and its card name. In your G-Zone, and this unit battles both the Vanguard and Rear Guards on the chosen Rear Guard circle in one attack. Run one Zoras. This is going to be replaced by Drachma when the Revival Collection hits. I really had nothing else to put in here. I could have put in the Stride from that one Fighter's Collection, Voltage Zapper, Voltec Zapper, whatever. I could not find my copy. Uh, one Supreme Closure Dragon, a GB8 when this unit is placed on, um, what is it? When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, retire all rear guards of all fighters, and then, uh, 
Find all the cards in your opponent's drop zone f uh, face up until the end of the turn and this unit gets plus 2k for each card in all fighters bind zones so to combo off of that i run mystic wisdom of creation brahma brahma skill is let's focus it on the camera call this can you stop that summer or max whichever one you are it's disgusting well, uh, just, uh, G-Guard, call this unit from your G-Zone to the Guardian Circle. Choose two cards with different grades from your job zone, bind them face up. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, you may pay the cost. If you do this unit, it's plus 10k until the end of the battle. So, give me an extra 6k. Because that matters, right? Am I right, ladies? One Sky Guardian, uh, Bulwark Dragon. At the end of the battle, this unit is placed on Guardian Circle for every four cards your opponent's bind zone. Choose up to one rested rear guard in your opponent's front row and retire it. Then impede Dragon. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.